Now to a months long investigation. Fort Bliss's hospital is a major economic engine with 3,200 employees. Now I've uncovered documents that show some employees at William Beaumont Army Medical Center are getting bonuses so generous some wonder whether they're symptoms of nepotism. The records show that in June 2010, the hospital's chief of resource management's wife, Kimberly Wodarts, was promoted to the Department of Family Medicine. Her supervisor, Dr. Melissa Molina, awarded her a week of paid time off just two days after her promotion, plus $250 and $500 cash awards every month or few months. In total, Kimberly Wodarts received more than $1,750 in cash bonuses and two weeks of paid time off during her first year. And that's unusual for any employee, um, but our eyebrows need to be raised when it's the wife of one of the most important people at the hospital. That would be Lieutenant Colonel Christopher Wodarts, who is the chief advisor to the commander on strategic and financial matters. I'd to know if I could speak to you or your wife. About what? About the fact that she got seven more than $1,700 of cash awards within her first seven months of employment. And I'm sure you understand how that raises eyebrows, considering, um, you know, that she was new on the job and that they're uncommon. I have nothing to say. Ms. Wodarts may be one of the most qualified people uh, to ever work at the Beaumont Army Medical Center. Um, but in order to qualify for these kinds of awards, as rapidly as she has within her employment, uh, there needs to be some demonstrable uh, proof that she merited them. Tom Smith is the director of Public Citizen Texas, one of the most active government watchdog groups in the state. He's been reviewing government spending for 25 years. I asked the hospital for proof of Mrs. Wodart's merits more than once. The command refused an on-camera interview. After I persisted, Colonel Dennis Doyle revealed the hospital reviewed the awards process based on our questions. Quote, there was no evidence of wrongdoing or favoritism, he wrote me. Hospital officials explained why Wodarts qualified for employment, she competed through a vetting process and was eligible through the military spouse preference program. They did not comment on the frequent cash bonuses. In the same department, I discovered a paper trail showing Susana Aguilera, the hospital's chief union steward, also got more than $1,700 in bonuses in just about two months. Documents outline a troubling pattern in practice at the Beaumont Hospital of what appears to be favoritism given to relatives and friends of higher ups. Then there's a 23 year old son of one of Dr. Molina's assistants. The documents show Andrew Garcia was hand picked as a nurse consultant. The position wasn't even advertised. His salary $71,000 a year. My eyebrows went up and I was really astounded uh, that he was earning that kind of money right out of school. Usually, that kind of pay level is something reserved for upper mid-level management uh, or beginning senior management in federal service. Commanders didn't authorize Beaumont employees to speak. Still, I wanted to give Dr. Molina an opportunity to explain the unusual cash awards and Garcia's hiring. The day I went to her house, she came outside, saw our crew, and went back inside. We saw you come out. We're here to talk to you. We want to know how you can justify directly hiring your assistant's 23-year-old son for a $71,000 a year job that other nurses would have liked to apply for. Uh, we saw you look out through the blinds. Four months after our initial inquiry, Beaumont's commander sent me this statement. I'm taking the additional step of bringing in an investigating officer from outside of this command to conduct a complete review of the civilian hiring and awards processes relating to the Department of Soldier and Family Medicine. As commander, it is my responsibility to ensure that we are good stewards of taxpayer dollars and to be transparent with the public as to how that fund is allocated. Of course, I will keep checking to find out the results of that outside investigation. New at 10, emails and phone calls keep flooding our newsroom after our Maria Garcia's investigation into bonuses at William Beaumont Army Medical Center in the form of cash and paid time off. 
They she spent all day sifting through your emails and spoke exclusively to a nurse at the hospital. A lot of people are saying it's about time and that maybe things will change now. This nurse is speaking out even though they tell me all Beaumont employees were ordered not to answer any of my questions. The employee wishes to remain anonymous for fear of losing their job. Unbelievable that people can actually get away doing this. The nurse is referring to the Department of Family Medicine, headed by Dr. Melissa Molina. I uncovered documents that show Molina awarded the hospital's chief of resource management's wife more than $1,700 in cash bonuses and two weeks off in less than a year of employment. The hospital commander wrote me a letter saying a review had revealed no sign of favoritism. This nurse says they're not so sure. It makes me feel embarrassed um, as a nurse because um, I think that ethics plays a very important part in this and um, it makes me feel angry that there are so many good people, good nurses, um, good staff, and they have never been awarded. It's just the chosen few. The most egregious evidence, the nurse says, Molina hiring her assistant's 23-year-old son for a $71,000 a year nurse consulting job without giving other nurses an opportunity to apply for the position. Hospital officials say again there was no sign of favoritism. I don't think it's fair not only to the, per the people that are working there already that are in the system, but also to our soldiers. We need to stop and think what kind of service um, are our soldiers receiving. Soldiers in need of care from qualified professionals. Maria Garcia, ABC7. In a letter, the hospital's commander wrote he would be bringing in an outside officer to review the hiring and awards practices in Molina's department. Our Maria Garcia is working to find out just who that officer is and how that review will be handled. You can watch her story on the investigation and read more details on this story at KVIA.com right now. And the promotion comes in the same week our Maria Garcia broke the story of questionable cash bonuses at the hospital. As a result of her findings and probes, the hospital initiated an investigation into those awards as she continued her search for answers today. Our investigation uncovered records that show the chief union steward received more than $1,700 in cash bonuses in less than two months. And the wife of one of the hospital's top administrators started receiving cash bonuses just months after being hired. Why not refer this to the inspector general for a more thorough review? Well, the, we feel that the, this officer is going to conduct uh, an AR-15-6, a formal investigation. If there is uh, anything that needs to be investigated, any corrective action that needs to be taken, uh, we have confidence that uh, she'll be able to do that. Initially, Beaumont officials said the Fort Bliss Civilian Personnel Advisory Center reviewed the cash awards. I checked on that. Not the case, says Fort Bliss. Shouldn't there be more review in how these cash and paid time off awards are issued? There were comments that the Fort Bliss CPAC reviews them, but the CPAC says they don't review them at all, that they just process them. Well, again, as an ongoing investigation until we see uh, where the, the facts and the evidence uh, take us. Uh, I'm not prepared to comment on that. What's going to be the policy for these cash awards and these paid time off awards? Is anybody going to be overseeing how the department heads or the supervisors mm -hmm. issue these cash awards? We, we, have a, we have a policy in effect. We have a procedure that's in effect and that will remain uh, pending the outcome of the investigation. But does that procedure um, involve anyone else overseeing the issuance other than the supervisor? Or the I'm, I'm not going to discuss the, the policy at, at this time until the investigation is complete. An investigation I'll keep looking into. Maria Garcia, ABC7. And the commander told us the investigating outside officer is from the Western Region Medical Command, which oversees William Beaumont Army Medical Center.